You want to get Crazy Craft updated for Minecraft, and I get it. This is one of the most popular Minecraft mod packs of all time, and it's updated to 1.16.5 versus the old Crazy Craft was on a really old version of Minecraft. I forget what it was back in the day, but this one is now on 1.16.5. It's updated regularly, literally just updated a few days ago. That's the time I'm making this video, and it adds in tons of stuff. As you can see, biomes and creatures and structures and all of that, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install it, and first things first, we're going to need the CurseForge launcher. To download the CurseForge launcher, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and this is our in-depth guide on getting CurseForge. It goes over everything you need to know. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that, this guide here will help you do that, as well as the text guide down below. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download CurseForge button here to go to CurseForge's official download page. On this page, you want to go ahead and click Download standalone and when you do you may need to keep or save the file but it's a hundred percent safe to do that while this is downloading how to mushroom our company simple game hosting you can check out simple game hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown dot xyz slash sgh and start your very own 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server running crazy craft updated that means you can play crazy craft updated with your friends quickly and easily in just a few clicks with our one click mod pack installer plus should you have any issues along the way there's expert live chat support there to help you out and you can customize your server any way that you want adding other mods out Side of Crazy Craft updated, all of that. It's your server, and you can do anything you want with it. So go check out Simple Game Host and get the first link in the description down below. The breakdown dot xyz says sgh and start your Crazy Craft server the simple way. Installing CurseForge now that it's downloaded is actually super easy. All you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely, it's going to be in your downloads folder here. As you can see, it is for me. And then once you found it, just double click on it, and then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on Next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again, and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon, and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now, there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports mod creators, which is amazing. Love to see that, and some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally, it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure Standard is checked, and then click Continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. Once Minecraft's ready in the CurseForge launcher, you'll be on your My Mod Packs tab here. Up here at the top, go ahead and search for Crazy Craft Updated. Make sure that you put a space in Crazy Craft, otherwise it won't show up. But here we are, Crazy Craft Updated. This is the mod pack. Come over here to the right-hand side and click the Install button, and it will begin downloading and installing Crazy Craft. You go back to the My Mod Packs tab to see this happening. You may need to add more RAM to Minecraft with CurseForge because a lot of mod packs like Crazy Craft need a bit more RAM in order to run. And in order to do that, click in the bottom left here this Settings button, and then at the bottom you'll see Minecraft. Scroll to the very bottom of this, and you will see Allocated Memory. This is the amount of megabytes allocated to Minecraft. For something like Crazy Craft, 6,000 to 8,000 is usually recommended, but never go more than half the total RAM your computer has. And you can always add a little more RAM if you have it. Like I do here, I'm going to go ahead and do 10,000 megabytes. You can also change your resolution, things like that from here as well. But once Crazy Craft is done downloading, we will be able to hover over it here and a orange play button will appear. You can go ahead and click on that play button and the Minecraft launcher will open. Now, in the Minecraft launcher here, you will most likely need to log in to your Microsoft account. It's 100% safe to do that because this is the default Minecraft launcher that you typically play Minecraft with. For me, I'm already logged in here. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, click on Minecraft Java Edition on the left-hand side. Crazy Craft should be selected by default. Click play, click play again. In, and now you are playing Minecraft with Crazy Craft updated, installed. I suppose once it's done downloading here and it launches Minecraft, you will be playing Minecraft with Crazy Craft updated, installed. And from there, you're going to be able to play a single player world or join a server. And that's what we're going to be doing, joining a server here by going to multiplayer. And then I'm going to add in a simple game hosting server that I created. It's super easy to get a simple game hosting server up and running at simplegamehosting.com running Crazy Craft. So go there and uh, check it out and get your server up and running in just a few minutes. But here we are, the server is now online. You can see it. Get a 24-hour server and double click on it and we will join right on in. It's that quick and easy to get your server up and running and to get Minecraft Crazy Craft up and running and then join your simple game hosting server with it. Now, once you're in game, Crazy Craft is just
just like any other Minecraft, except it's a bit more difficult. And it has all that other benefits, like more bosses and creatures and structures and all of that as well. But one thing that I've always remembered Crazy Craft for is how difficult it is. And honestly, there are many reasons for that, from like increased hunger to I think uh, you can get cold and things like that in this as well. It, it's kind of crazy, all that is added with Crazy Craft, and that's why it's one of the most popular mod packs ever made. I mean, look at all these different books that you get when you join in about all the different mods that are installed with Crazy Craft. We're already making advancements, all that stuff. Great to see. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That's how you can play Crazy Craft updated. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. And be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. We'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.